welcome to all of our viewers from around the world. We have quite a game in prospect here, just waiting for the players to emerge, and we will be underway. And here we have Borussia Dortmund against Chelsea. My name is Peter Drury, and here's my co-commentator for the game, it's Jim Beglin. Thanks for that, Peter, and may I say a big hello to everyone. So the distinction of the UEFA Champions League anthem. best equipped for this game yeah Jorginho the kind of player that can pass a team to death at first a lot of his passes seem a little safe and conservative but they all serve a, a bigger purpose slowly shifting the opposition from side to side once there is that little bit of space to work in then the killer instinct usually kicks in and he's able to deliver that decisive pass well quite no argument for me on that one Piszczek battles to win it back. Looks like a good ball through. He's off on a marauding run. Ball's loose. Who's getting there? And it's Aspilicueta. It's come loose. Aspilicueta chills one in. Can he score? He's got away with one there. I love to see a team closing down from the front like that, and I think they did brilliant to win it back and get the shot away. Borussia Dortmund still without an attempt on target. A oh, glorious footwork! As Pliqueta did well to emerge with the ball. That's a contest to keep an eye on. Pulisic. Looks to slip it through. Semedo. Schmelzer. Not long till half time, and it is still goalless. Great run this, he's covered quite a distance. Royce. Pulisic gets it back. He is not one readily to admit defeat. Don't be surprised if he tries that again. Harvats tries lifting it over. And that is 
going to be the final action of the first half. Any opinion you'd like to express on the first half? Well, the manager surely got to look for one or two creative changes now. They need some service up front. Well, after 45 minutes, it is still goalless. A change, perhaps, after half-time. Here we go again. Well, the first half didn't really produce the goals we'd have liked. Hopefully, they've been saved for the, the second. For that to be the case, though, we'll need to see more energy and invention early on. Akanchi, aim forward. Chan brings the ball forward. Akanchi tries a through ball. That's a corner. Yes, it is. And it's been taken short. Hits one! He's done very well to get to that. That wasn't the easiest of saves by any means, Peter, and I think his instincts were... Well, they were just razor sharp. Harvards with a delicate ball. Sterling with the ball through. And the through ball is intercepted. Well, they are working very hard to get it wide now, Jim. Yeah, that's that's true. And is that how you're seeing it? Yeah, I think they've decided to concentrate on, on working the flanks to help the production line. It's uh it's where the room is. Boots it upfield. Lucas Piszczek. Now the pass. Jorginho. Done very well to intervene. Goes wide. And it's Romero. Crossfield changing the point of attack. Sterling going full tilt down the left. Has gone out. Piszczek, great challenge. Who's going to make this theirs? Akanji. Truthfully, it was hard to see any better outcome there. Berkey gets it away. Romero pumps it upfield. Schmelzer passes it through. Now it's Royce. And the defence can get it clear. Royce. Added time is up. And there goes the whistle. And stalemate. One, if not for fans, then perhaps for coaches. Satisfied by organisation and solidity. Little cutting edge at either end.